Sydney is a bucket list destination that lures visitors from across the globe. What should you see when you visit the city? Let's explore Sydney's top 10 places to visit. Number 10. Taronga Zoo You may visit all your favorite animals at Taronga Zoo and enjoy breathtaking cityscapes. One of Sydney's top activities to do with kids is the zoo. Here you can get an up-close look at the famous Australian fauna and other species from across the globe. Among the highlights are the African savanna exhibit, tiger track, the chimpanzees, and the gorillas. Animal exhibitions and daily keeper presentations add to the enjoyment. Feed the giraffes, interact with a cute koala, or build friendships with a meerkat. Another perk is entertaining shows such as a seals for the wild presentation and a free flight bird display, which are included with your entry ticket. Number 9. Bondi Beach Next is Bondi Beach, another well-known tourist destination perfect for swimming, surfing, and relaxing. Enjoy the early morning waves and jogging on the beach. Whether you're a tourist or a permanent resident of Sydney, Bondi Beach is an excellent reason to take the day off. Some activities here include learning to surf, seeing whales from May to November. Stop in at Bondi Beach Icebergs, one of Australia's oldest swimming clubs, with a beachfront 50-meter pool and a wading pool for kids or just spend the day taking the local beachside vibe. Additionally, it is secure because there are qualified lifeguards on duty 24-7. Number 8. Royal Botanical Gardens The Royal Botanic Gardens were established in 1816 and are located between the Sydney Opera House and the Domain Public Park. The urban park, which overlooks the port, is home to more than 7,500 different kinds of plant life, the majority of which are indigenous to Australia. The rare and threatened species garden contains an ancient wallamy pine, a tree species that dates back 200 million years. Other noteworthy places include the tropical center, with plants housed in greenhouses shaped like pyramids. There is no fee to enter the park, and you can also take advantage of free guided tours while you're there. Number 7. Darling Harbour Number 7 is an attractive ocean-based tourism destination, Darling Harbour. It has much to offer regarding family-friendly activities. Sailing on Sydney Harbour, visiting the Australian National Maritime Museum, and walking through the Chinese Garden of Friendship are all worthwhile activities. You won't notice when day turns into night in Darling Harbour because there's so much happening there. Number 6. Queen Victoria Building If shopping is your priority, head to Queen Victoria Building, a true example of Romanesque architecture. Even if you don't intend to purchase, it's worth a trip. Its vibrant glass windows and mosaic flooring are quite impressive. Built between 1893 and 1898 as a market hall, this magnificent structure is topped by a tall central dome encircled by 20 smaller domes. In the early 1980s, this excellent sandstone structure was returned to its former state after years of neglect and even preparations for demolition. Today, its light-filled galleries are lined with more than 200 upscale stores, including several Australian designer boutiques, Hayes Chocolate, homeware shops, gift shops, and art galleries. Number 5. Barangaroo Reserve Another popular Sydney tourist destination is the Barangaroo Reserve, located in Barangaroo neighborhood's northern section. Barangaroo, which has a vibrant Aboriginal history, allows visitors to explore renowned restaurants and cafes, indulge in shopping, and go sightseeing amidst the local indigenous architecture. The reserve has a variety of 75,000 native trees, plants, and thousands of sandstone blocks are the main attractions. Festivals, exhibits, and art events are frequently hosted in the reserve's naturally cut cutaway. Number 4. Sydney Tower Next is the Sydney Tower, the city's tallest structure, reaching 1,073 feet above sea level. From its vantage point, visitors may enjoy panoramic views of the city below, the harbour, and even the countryside beyond. The structure contains an enclosed observation platform that completely encircles it. It is designed by the architect Donald Crone, and first opened its doors to the public in 1981. The tower is home to three different dining establishments, one of which is a rotating restaurant called 360 Bar and Dining. The most recent improvement to the tower is the installation of a 4D theater, which enriches the traditional cinema experience with additional effects like wind and bubbles. Number 3. The Rocks The Rocks are the origin of contemporary Sydney, the region where, in 1788, Australia's first European settlers arrived. This area of Sydney is a very popular tourist destination because it combines modern conveniences and entertainment with the spirit of the colonial age. Explore the numerous open markets, museums, and galleries tucked within the rocks' walled boundaries while you take in the sights, sounds, and ambience. 
You might also enjoy dining and drinking in some of Sydney's oldest structures or along the open harbour with panoramic views of the water and the city. There are excellent spots where you can also spend the night if you'd like to fully experience the rock's culture. Number 2. Sydney Harbour Bridge The Sydney Harbour Bridge, also called the Coat Hanger, is another top landmark. It was constructed in 1932 to still the world's longest steel arch bridge. Enormous double piers support it at each end and it can be crossed by car or train. You can enjoy it by taking pictures from a distance, but climbing to the pinnacle of this 135-meter-high structure is one of the most incredible ways to fully appreciate this masterpiece and take in the breathtaking vistas of Sydney Harbour. Numerous tour options are available. Groups are taken on a 3.5-hour climb to the summit of the Outer Arch. Tours take place all day, starting with sunrise and concluding with a night ascent. Number 1. Sydney Opera House The Sydney Opera House, one of Australia's most well-known structures and most visited attraction, it is a renowned performing arts venue. It is situated in Sydney's central business district and is surrounded by the stunning beauty of Sydney Harbour and the Royal Botanic Gardens. This magnificent building receives several million visitors annually and houses several venues that collectively stage over 1,500 events yearly. Four renowned organizations, including the Sydney Symphony Orchestra, are housed at the Sydney Opera House, regarded as a masterpiece of 20th century architecture. It was created by architect John Utzon to resemble a massive sailing ship, and the unusual building has roof shells that imitate billowing sails. The forecourt, an outdoor area where numerous outdoor performances are held, is a very prominent feature of the Sydney Opera House. To experience its splendor, tourists can visit the halls, backstage, and dressing rooms on guided tours. This brings us to the end of this travel guide. Please consider subscribing and liking the video so we can keep bringing more content like this. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time.